And do you like a d good director like Langham to basically leave you alone and give you gentle guidance, or do you like a director to actually have their hands on you, so to speak, as you work? Um, I've always been so sensitive that I prefer it if they tell me privately, if it's inflicted on me during a rehearsal. And some of it can be pretty brutal, you know. It will affect me enough that um, when we were doing um, Henry V the first time with Michael Langham, I was playing the chorus, and I had a young guy, Louis Negan, who you may have known, sharing, sharing with me at the time. I came home from rehearsal. He said, Michael would say, you know, you speak like an American. You still have an Iowan accent. You must get rid of it. He said, especially in the first speech, oh, for a muse of fire that would ascend the brightest heaven, you sound like you're from Iowa. Get rid of that. And I couldn't hear it in my voice. Um, anyway, I came home one night, desolate, absolute desolation, and I threw myself into bed, and Louis came in and he said, Bill, you haven't had anything. I said, Louis, go away. I don't want anything to eat. I just want to go to sleep. He said, Bill, you have to have something to eat. I'll go out and get us hamburgers. And um, if you'll eat your hamburger, then I'll read to you and put you to sleep. So I thought, well, that's a pretty good deal. He went and got the hamburgers, and we ate them. He said, all right, lie back. I'll read to you. He got out the Old Testament. And I thought, Louis, with the Old Testament? <laughs> well, he said, now listen to this. You think you got problems? Listen to this. And he read from the book of Job. <laughs> wow. He had me in hysterics. At that time. <laughs> I had no problems compared to Job whatsoever. <laughs>